What's up guys? So we're back at it today. We're bringing the ramp to Bailey's house along with some uh, extra wood and stuff. We're gonna bring the pit bikes there, rip around the pit bikes with Bailey, and yeah, test out the new suspension, see how I like it. We'll see what we can get into. Got it all loaded. I just got the pit bike on top of this wood so it won't slide out. Should be fine though, I'm not too worried. Oh, I gotta put gas in it quick before I forget. Oh. <sighs> all right, finally getting going. Takes us forever to go anywhere, to actually be on time somewhere. Not that we're on a schedule, but still. So we finally got some nice weather today. It was like 80, I think. Maybe 75, 80, same thing. But yeah, it was so nice compared to this crappy cold weather we've been having lately. I'm sure it'll get cold again. I think it's gonna get back down to like 50 this week, so I'm not too excited about that. He's hanging right above the truck. <laughs> Guys, the, the ramp just flew out of Joe's truck. Oh my God, good thing nobody was behind us. Jesus, oh my God, I saw that thing fly out. Guys, this thing literally we threw back of the truck. Hopefully it doesn't fly out this time. We probably should strap it, but I, I don't know. That thing came out so fast. Go slower out. this time. I cannot believe that just happened. That was crazy. I don't think I got it on the camera. I started recording just after it flipped. I was recording before, then I stopped right after. I, oh, I should have kept recording. The thing flew out so fast. And it, it went so high in the air. It was so, oh my God. We got lucky there was no cars behind me and there was no cars passing him where it, because it landed in their other, the other side of the lane. That could have been a lot worse than what it was, honestly. But good thing they hit anybody. Ramp didn't break. <laughs> so we're almost to Bailey's house. All right, guys, behind me is my brand new Can-Am. No, I'm not even gonna mess with you. My buddy's Can-Am Renegade, taking it for a little spin. If your tires, beat locks, all that stuff on it. I think it's got like the snorkel kit, but yeah, I don't know much about quads. It was kind of sketchy riding it. I'm not used to the whole, I got on it, I tried twisting the throttle first off. But yeah, I haven't ridden a quad in a while. on top of this tree to get this shot. So as you guys can see, this is Bailey's, not, I guess it is brand new. The whole bike's brand new. It's got a brand new, what did you put, top end in it? Top and top, top and bottom end. It's a KX250. So all you kids out there that are commenting, Bailey can't handle it, he rides a four stroke. It's got a KX250, all right? It's got a KX250, the thing's mint. Got the boys in, in taken, got the pro circuit. Yeah. Everything's new but the clutch and yeah. transmission. Everything's new. So you guys want to see more pictures of this, follow Bailey on Instagram at that man Bailey. Somebody's here on a street bike, I guess. Probably Anthony. Dude, oh, Anthony, you got no business on a street bike, buddy. What are you doing riding a street bike? This man right here gave me the keys, he said rip it. He took, he took 
keys and ran out the door. He just took him and ran. Keys, was it? You can't be doing that. 531 was a nice 170 stretch. <laughs> Bailey's let me take it for a lap. This is for all the kids that say I've never ridden a two stroke before. Anthony's got no business to be on a street bike. It's not even his street bike. <laughs> Listen, Tyler. What? Dude, he's hit, he's whiskey. Listen, we gotta get uh, 600 now, 450. <laughs> we need some serious. No, you do not need a street bike. Jamie's got like a look on it. I'm on a pit bike, huh? Yeah, you know, yeah, I got I, mean, yeah, I got rid of the CBR, didn't want it anymore, it was a little too much power, so... Yeah, so you're, you're moving to the pit bike. Oh, oh stalled. Stalls it. Here's a disclaimer, kids. That is not cool. Anthony's not cool going fast. It takes no skill to twist the throttle, but... He claims it takes a bunch of skill. What, what do you say about Anthony going fast? I mean, when you're five foot one, it lightens <laughs> it up, so it's not too hard. Um, it takes no skill. Yeah, no skill. No whatsoever. skill. Just twist Nothing. the throttle. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> all right, who's gone, who's gone faster? On Got this thing all loaded up. All right, guys. So it's the next day after filming the uh, pit bike and the street bike things yesterday. So I have to quickly change the oil on the 250 here for area tomorrow. I'm supposed to go on uh, Wednesday practice. Hopefully it doesn't rain. It rained a little bit today, but it should be fine for tomorrow as long as it doesn't rain during the day. So I'm gonna get the oil all changed up because I haven't changed it uh, the past like two or three times. I went to switchback, so we're gonna change that. Get a new oil filter and stuff in it. And yeah, maybe bleed my brakes or something because the fronts are a little bit squishy. But other than that, a little bike work for tomorrow. <sighs> the most annoying thing about this stupid skid plate is to change my oil every time I have to get an Allen wrench and take all these off. It's not like there's no hole underneath there where I can fit my socket and loosen up the drain bolt and get it out that way. I gotta take it off every single time, but. I know it's not that big of a deal, but it's just one more thing you got to do to really, like, changing oil isn't that hard. I shouldn't have to, I don't know what I'm even saying right now. All right, we're going to get it warmed up a little bit so the oil will flow out a little bit easier than it would if it was cold. All right, so right now what I'm trying to do is I'm just taking this off so I can get my hands kind of behind on the frame. And I got some polish. I'll show you guys what it is. I've had it for a while. It's some, uh, what is it, Noxon something uh, polish stuff for the frame to get some of that, like, oxidation off from the salt. I think it's from, I don't know, it's got all those, some little marks on it, so I'm trying to get those off and polish it all up. Oh, can't do this left-handed. All right, guys, so I'm just getting the bike warmed up after the uh, oil change here. Let everything go. I got some new coolant in it. Got all the frame scrubbed down and stuff. I got to put the skid plate right back on still. Get on. Sometimes you got to, like, get it positioned perfect and line it all up. But yeah, this thing's finally all put together. I'm gonna go put that away. I got the pit bike warming up over here. I'm just gonna rip some wheelers right up and down the street. But I'm gonna end the video here because this wasn't really the point. You guys probably don't care to watch me work on my stuff, especially as something so uh, minuscule, just changing the oil, just normal maintenance. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and wanna see more, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. Give the video a like and share it with your friends. And off that, I will see you guys in my next video.